Hey, Scipio here, and uh, I'm getting ready to drop in this new Taro motor, so I wanted to show you real quick uh, what it comes with, and uh, that way you'll uh, have an idea if you buy this. This is the Taro 1700 KV motor. There you go. It's uh, brushless and uh, cool color. It says super quiet, performance beyond. I love Chingrush. Um, any rate, uh, this is the motor. I'm using a, a low KV motor uh, because I'm using a 6S system. Uh, the motor I had before in my heli was a 2000 KV and I was using quite a bit of uh, throttle curve to uh, to keep the head speed where I wanted it. So um, I thought I would try a little bit lower KV motor. Um, actually, uh, if you... Uh, if you've been following my build thread on Heli Freak, you'll know that uh, my last crash, the motor shaft on my last motor actually broke off, so I had to get a new motor. So this is what I'm going with, Taro 1700 KV. Uh, inside the package, it does come with um, the bullet, male bullet ends, uh, some shriek tubing, and uh, some screws to uh, to hold and washers to hold the motor to, uh, to the motor mount. So pretty simple, uh, but really that's what you'd expect to find um, in a uh, in a motor package so um, all the necessities and that's really all you need right there so two screws two washers three bullets and uh, three pieces of shrink tubing all right so here's my motor with the uh, Bullets put on, these are 3.5 millimeter bullets, kind of standard motor size bullets. Uh, and this is the shrink tubing that was uh, that was in the box. So uh, I've got my, my motor in soldered on. Uh, real quick, just want to make sure you have some uh, important information about this uh, should you need to, uh, to know it. Um, as far as uh, settings in the ESC, you're going to want to set... The, uh, the timing and the PWM, the pulse width modulation frequencies. Uh, so let me, let me help you with that. I'm gonna leave the timing at 18 degrees uh, to start with. That's sort of the standard uh, uh, outrunner uh, motor timing uh, and has worked well for me and seems to work well for a lot of people. So uh, I'm gonna stick with the 18 degree timing. Uh, you may try that or, uh, or try an auto timing or something like that. As far as pulse width modulation, the PWM frequency, um, you're going to need to know how many poles uh, the motor is. And if you're using a governor, for example, the Robird uh, G31 governor uh, asks you how many poles in the motor, and uh, so do other many other governor applications. This is an eight-pole motor, uh, and the way um, you can tell that, if you can't find it uh, authoritatively um, in writing somewhere, is just to count the number of poles along the outside. There's magnets along the outside uh, of this uh, of this motor body, and I'm trying to see if I can get an angle here. So this is really one of those things. It's much easier to do in person than it is to get on video. But if you look through this one hole right there at the tip of my finger, you'll see as I spin this around, you can see the glimmer of light hit a, hit across those magnets as they as they go past. So what I do is I take a mark on the case, and you can also see the magnets uh, through this hole there as it spins around. See how that's happening? It's really hard on video because the camera doesn't want to focus on it is the problem. Uh, it wants to focus on the top. Um, but at any rate, you can count them that way. And I take and put a mark on the case. As a matter of fact, uh, I just made a little sharpie mark and it might already be rubbed off by now. I just made a little mark on the top as, as I was going through uh, counting uh, these little magnets inside there as I see them. I spin it one, two, you know you can get a reference point too off of this uh, uh, little indent here. Uh, this cut out but at any rate you're going to count those magnets as they spin around like I said it's a lot easier to see uh, in real life just get a light shine it down there uh, and you should be able to see it it's really hard to show it on video um, but that's how I count I counted eight that actually lines up with uh, with what the documentation says that I found so with that said with eight uh, 
motor poles, the PWM uh, equation, if you remember, if you've looked at my uh, YEP uh, ESC programming video, the PWM frequency formula is the KV of the motor times the voltage times the number of poles divided by 20. So the KV of the motor is 1700. Uh, it's a 22.2 volt uh, system. So that's a 6S, and, and that's important to note as well. This is designed for a 6S uh, build. So if you're running a standard, uh, standard power supply of, uh, of 3S, um, you do not probably want to use a 1700 kV motor. Uh, you want to use a uh, like a 3800 uh, kV motor. So anyway, this is designed for a 22.2 volt system, which is 6S. Uh, and then the number of poles, so let, let me backtrack now. Uh, kV 1700 by voltage, which is 22.2, times the number of poles, which is 8, divided by 20. That gets me right around 15,000 uh and then uh, if you look uh, at your um, settings for your ESC uh, on the YEP uh, 45, which is the one I use, it has a 14,000, uh, 14 kilohertz uh, setting, and that's what I'm going to use. You always kind of want to round down, uh, not round up. So in the last motor I had, it was set at 12 uh, uh, kilohertz, uh, and so this one's going to be set at 14, so that's going to be a change. Uh, from before and also on the row bird settings. I'm going to up the number of poles uh, count from the six before to eight uh, now So anyway, that's uh, that's a little bit uh, of helpful information The other thing you need to know that's important is this is a 3.5 millimeter shaft uh, Which means when you're buying pinions you need to get pinions that are 3.5 millimeter uh, input hole uh, a lot of them are 3.17 millimeters. My last motor is 3.17. None of the pinions that I have for the last motor will fit on this shaft. Uh, so make sure you keep that in mind. If you get this motor uh, and you're buying pinions, make sure you get the right uh, pinion shaft diameter. So 3.5 millimeters is what you're looking for. Uh, with that said, this is it. The Taro 1700 KV uh, 450MX motor uh, designed for a 6S 450 heli build. And uh, I think it's going to work great. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.